Okay, welcome back to FTL. Today we'll be playing through with my absolute favorite ship in the game, the Type B of the Mantis ship, the Basilisk. Uh, why is this my favorite ship in the game? Because I really like boarding, and this ship comes pre-equipped with a four-person crew teleporter. You've only got two crew to start with, but they're both Mantis, so you're still good for early game piracy. Uh, the drawbacks of this ship are that, as you see, it comes with no weapons. Uh, that means you have absolutely no offensive capability aside from a boarding drone and your crew for the early game. Uh, this is easily the highest risk, highest reward ship in the game. Either this ship goes very wrong very quickly, or it goes right and you just murder everyone. And when it goes right, it's just hilariously fun. So let's give it a shot and see how we do. I'm going to rename this the... The All or Nothing. That, oh, that doesn't fit. That's too bad. Um, there we go. Oh shit, Mantids. That sounds appropriate. And I think we're ready to go. Uh, one nice thing is that it does come pre-equipped with two levels of shielding, which is pretty cool. Because early on in the game, your ship will be sitting there unmanned while you're over slaughtering enemy crew. The hard part of the early game is that you're perfectly safe against most piloted ships, but if you come across enemy automated drones, there is nothing you can do but just sit there and try to jump away in time. And because of that, the first thing I'm actually going to do is upgrade my engines. Actually, a couple times. With an upgraded FTL drive, I will be able to jump away more quickly, which means that if I do run into automated drones that I can't actually destroy, I won't be sitting there taking hits for quite as long. And, as I said, the first thing we come across is an automated ship. Uh, we have no way of destroying it, at least that I'm aware of. I don't believe you can actually take out a ship just with boarding drones. Uh, so I'm going to avoid provoking it and just move on. And here we come across a rebel ship. This we can fight. Send over both of my mantis and let the slaughter begin. There we go. And we got a nice reward for that as well. It is pretty critical to get more f uh, crew as early as possible with the ship since you start out so limited. But the nice thing is you come with two mantis, so really anybody you come across is nice. Let's demand the surrender of these guys' goods. They're gonna try and jump away, but I think I can kill them off beforehand. Yep, there we go. And we get our first weapon, Reach Missiles. Those are extremely powerful, so I will be happy to take those. I don't have any actual ammunition at the moment, but we should be able to get some. Making repairs in this ship also takes a long time until you get another crew, because Mantis are not good at it. Alright. More crewed ships. 
that means more piracy. These guys have a missile launcher, so I am going to go ahead and turn on a defense drone. You come with 16 or 15 or something, so there's no reason not to use them while you've got them. missiles out of that. Now if we invest in a couple upgrades we'll actually have some offensive capability. But I'm gonna hang on to my scrap for now. I would much rather buy some energy weapons if I find them and hire some more crew. Slavers? Excellent. We are perfectly equipped for dealing with slavers. Absolutely, I want another Mantis. Now we have a three Mantis boarding party. That is going to be really funny. Just wanted to take a quick look at the map while my guys failed up to see if there was a store nearby. guys to their destination. Oh, and it's right next door. It was a trap, but I kind of feel like these rebels are the ones who actually walked into the trap here. Oh, this ship is so fun when it goes right. get a whole laser mark too. Very cool. There's a store right there that we'll visit before we leave the sector, but let's keep exploring for now. Just want to let my guys heal up first. Get some free stuff. And no, oh, another store. Absolutely check that out. Hmm. I could afford cloaking right now, and that's actually pretty tempting. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and buy it. Uh, since we're doing so much boarding, we're going to be rolling in scrap by the end of the game. And I'm going to hang on to the rest of my cash for now. That way if this other store has crew that I can hire, I'll be able to afford it. Jump near a sun, but these guys only have two crew on board. I'm only going to jump over two. I know the ship only has two guys on it. Sell that boarding drone. I'm never going to use it. And that means... Well, no, now I'm actually torn because I would really like to get that hull beam. They're nice. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sell the breach missiles because I like the small bomb better. Now I can afford to buy the hull beam, another mantis, and... Uh, the mantis pheromones increase your movement speed by 25%. 
I don't really see the point of this. Um, I guess it would be nice if you had a lot, a lot of rock men on board, but you, your crew moves fast enough in almost all situations anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and sell that just so I can buy this extra crew member. Because now we have a full all mantis boarding party and somebody to pilot the ship. So this is this is hilarious. With that, let's jump out of here. Now once again, I'm not even gonna worry about fighting these guys. I'm just gonna turn on my defense drone and sit here until my FTL charges. This is, I don't know, it's its obviously a, li a little early to predict, but getting four Mantis this early on and all of these weapons, uh, <laughs> this is going to be a very fun playthrough. And maybe this will be, you know, the first one where I don't lose some of my Mantis boarding party at some point. But once again, it's early days yet, so we'll see. Alright, let's move on. Go to the Zoltan controlled sector. Um, no, I'd rather go to the civilian sector. I don't feel like dealing with Zoltan shielding right now. There's a store there. Let's make a few jumps first. Here we can sell some drone parts. I actually need my drone parts with this ship, so I'm gonna skip that. rebel ship that's going to try and escape on us, but they are absolutely not going to get a chance. It's amazing what short work four Mantis will do of an enemy crew. Look at that, he lasted like three seconds. And I even have cloaking already, my god. There we go. And it looks like we got a free map update out of that too, which is nice. Oh wow, that was very handy actually. Now I know where everything is, and there are three stores on this map, which is cool. So we'll look at my upgrade situation. You can see this first weapon upgrade actually costs 60 scrap. So I do want to do that, but I'm getting a little low on fuel, so I should probably top that off first. Yeah. Let's check out this distress beacon. disease that's broken out, but we don't have any immune crew, so I don't want to risk losing one of my super valuable mantis this early on. I should heal them up while I'm at it. There we go. Let's fight a ship. Once again, <laughs> it's murder time. There is just nothing these enemy guys can do about this. They have just no chance whatsoever. One of my guys has already leveled up once in combat. Two of them, actually. And we get enough scrap to upgrade our weapons, which is good. Now, at the very least, I can use a hull beam or a small bomb. So we are at least capable of dealing with some of the weaker automated ships should we come across them. an ion storm here but no ship so I think I'm actually gonna check it out I don't think I'll get into combat so maybe I'll just be able to explore yeah excellent we get scrap and another weapon remember to turn on my oxygen now before I jump away and here we come across one of those automated ships I was talking about uh, the nice thing is this guy doesn't have any shields, so I can hit him with my hull beam without having to worry about it. Oh, that hit anyway? Jeez. Alright, we haven't eliminated his 
jump capability yet, but hopefully we'll be able to do that before he can get away. Yeah, I think we got him. have more crew, which is probably a good idea. Now I can have somebody man our engine room and get a little bit more evasion out of this. Here we come across black market weapons trader who we will be dealing with in our usual fashion. Three seconds, man. It is just silly. Like I said, the ship is very high risk, high reward. Um, right now it looks like a complete cakewalk because of the luck we had in getting our boarding party so early. But if you are stuck with two Mantis and no weapons and you're in Sector 3, there is really not much you can do about it. another automated ship. I don't feel like fighting these guys, so let's see if we can sneak past them. We are able to do so. Very nice. I'm going to check out this empty sector here, since I have time. <laughs> oh, he's been boarded. These guys made a mistake. experience from my boarding party. Excellent. With that, we're ready to move on. Uh, yeah, we're getting a little low on fuel, so I'm going to go ahead and buy some. And I'm going to upgrade my weapons and power one more time, too. So now we can run the hull beam and the small bomb, or use the hull laser too. We're in pretty good shape. I think this is a good point to leave off, so when I catch you guys next time, we will be checking out Sector 3. I'll see you then.